Jane Curtin's movie is called Queen Bees. It's in theaters and on demand. Now, Lorraine's audio memoir is titled May You Live in Interesting Times. It's available from audible.com. Um, Jane, John G. wants to know what you remember about O.J. Simpson hosting SNL back in season three. Oh, um, I, I, uh, not much. Because right. he didn't really pay that much attention to the gals. He was, he was, you know, he was a guy guy. Right, right. So. Uh, and probably for the better. Lorraine, um, Justin L. Uh, said, wants to know the strangest part of studying mime in Paris with Marcel Marceau. The strangest? Well, um, that sign language and French were the only languages spoken. Wow. Sign language, it was unexpected. It didn't occur to me, but of course it would be, you know? Right. Um, Jane, Liam H. wants to know what you think of the news that NBC is working on a reboot of Kate and Allie. Uh, more power to them. We just had a reunion and we're too old to do it. So. Right. <laughs> um, I said somebody else moving on. Maureen K wants to know for both of you if you keep in touch with Garrett Morris, Dan Aykroyd, and Bill Murray. Do you all keep in touch? Do you email? Is there a text chain of any kind? We get together at events. Uh -huh. We see each other at events. And sometimes, you know, Billy will have a party. Um, but it's it's basically because I'm on the East Coast and every you know, he's all over the country. And you know, Garrett's on the West Coast and Lorraine's on the West Coast. So we're, you know. Yeah. We're well, Garrett, Garrett's also, he has a comedy club and he's hired my daughter, Hannah. So I've had contact with him then. And also I had dinner with Billy about two months ago and I see Danny every once in a while too, because he, he has a house out here. Wow. Do you guys yeah. remember the yeah. first time you saw the Blues Brothers perform and did you think that they were going to be as big as they were? They were pretty amazing, so I, I didn't think beyond that. Um, but you know, considering how influential Saturday Night Live was at that time, the, the you know the treadmill started going a little bit faster. Right. But it, as it should have, because the talent was overwhelming. I am so blown away, Jane, that you opened for the Grateful Dead in 1969. Like. <laughs> I have not, I have not, I just want you to know that's been in the back of my mind for the whole show. I, I kind of haven't recovered from that. Uh, a, a woman I worked with on a, on a show a couple of, uh, last, no, a couple of years ago, uh, actually found a poster. Wow. And gave it to me. That's I know. That's cool. Oh, no. And did you, by the way, are you a deadhead or are you, Yeah. Wow. Oh, I love that. Okay, I want to go back to our virtual viewer questions. Here's Nita from Texas with a question for Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Andy June. My question is for Jane. Okay. Which one of your uh, iconic shows, Third Rock from the Sun or Kate and Ali, do you think is more bingeable? And did you rewatch any of them in quarantine? Nice shot ski there, by the way. I watched uh, some... Uh, Third Rock about three weeks ago. I have a, a, a rowing machine, and I, I I become obsessed with my rowing machine from time to time. And while I'm on the rowing machine, I, I watch TV. And I was surfing, and I saw Third Rock, and I started watching. I did. I was on the machine for 45 minutes. I was having so <laughs> much. Fun. Really? Did you remember? Oh, yeah. Did you remember what you were seeing, or was it kind of fresh to you? Some of them. Some of them. Some of them I remembered. Some of them I totally forgot. Wow. And it's fun to go back. And and with Kate and Allie, we just did a reunion with Kate and Allie. And um, I watched a couple of the, the openings and then talking to them, it was, you remember the shows through talking to them and, oh man, yeah, it's great. Um, I was telling, Lorraine was on the radio with me the other day and I was telling her how wild it is seeing all the old SNL episodes up on Peacock. Uh, they're all there in their entirety. And, you know, you forget some of the people who hosted and just the pace of the show was so different. And it's fat. It is sociologically really interesting to watch. Uh, we have Tiffany and Carlos from Louisiana with a question for Lorraine. Hey, Andy. Hey, hey Jane. Hi. Hi. Hey, Lorraine. 
Hi. So, hey. So since you dropped a lot of names in your memoir, have you heard from any of the celebrities that you wrote about? Uh, well, thank you for that question. I talked to those people before I mentioned them. Ah. Because it, it's, you know, I know that we like to think that I spilled the tea, but really it's just... I, I'm very affectionate. I, I love my friends and, and I'm talking about my friends and I always check with them. Jane never talked about the fact that when Mick Jagger was on the show, I knocked on the door of her dressing room for some reason. The door <laughs> opens. She's there in a beautiful kimono. Her hair is in rollers. She's smoking a cigarette and it's just her and Mick. <laughs> You know, and uh, I, w I wrote to her to ask her about that because I said, what do you think he wanted? She says, I don't know, maybe a quickie. And I said, boy, did he have the wrong number. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Wow. Well, it's thrilling talking to you both. I want to thank Jane Curtin and Lorraine Newman uh, for hanging out with us tonight. What a delight. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.